Welcome back nerd squad my name is Roya Destroya and this is Top 10 Nerd. Just because people slap you with the label of supervillain doesn't mean you're 100% the bad guy all around right? There's always some sliver of humanity left in the villains to feel with and for us to feel for. It's not all about conquering the world and enslaving everyone. Well sometimes it is. So let's take a look at the top 10 sympathetic supervillains. is Dr. Doom. This villain did not come into the world a blessed man. His sorcerer's mother died of illness, his father was sentenced to death and forced to flee leading to his death as well. The reason he became who he is is because of an experiment gone terribly wrong when he was just trying to communicate with his deceased mom. Though he's full of anger and pain yet he still tries to be a good guy sometimes. Like when he teamed up with Doctor Strange in the graphic novel Triumph and Torture. Or when he's delivering babies on the side. Next to number 9 we have Kingpin. Marvel's Wilson Fisk may just come off as your typical Tony Soprano mob boss, but there's so much more behind him than just a guy who wants to own the city. Despite a heart of evil, there's a large piece of it that's deeply devoted to his wife and he would do anything for her, be it quit crime for a bit, or kidnap a therapist's wife to convince him to help her after her supposed death and come back. Wouldn't a nice check be enough maybe? Therapist's feelings aside, isn't that a gesture of love? In the number 8 spot is Prometheus. Not the guy who stole fire and gave it to humans, although that was totally nice of him to do. Nobody likes a raw chicken like Leg. Prometheus from DC was the son of two hippie criminals who got caught and gunned down by law enforcement. From then on he created the image in his mind that justice and the law were evil and he swore he would do whatever he could with his skills and the inordinate amount of money left to him to stop police force from oppressing the innocent. Innocent in his eyes of course. Up in number 7 we got Bane. He broke the bat's back and we can guarantee he's broken a lot more than just that. But what Bane doesn't break is his loyalty strangely enough. The DC villain who is notorious for being merciless but also seems a lot more human than most, was raised behind bars and only knew a life of everyone for themselves. However, he did a total 180 in Batman Bane of the Demon and started a career as a hero, all because he thought Batman was his stepbrother. Turns out later they were never related and he returns to villainy, but just goes to show you that family matters to him. Coming in at number 6 is Lizard. As always, an experiment gone wrong led to the creation of this Marvel villain. All he wanted was his arm back. Now he's stuck looking like this. You gotta feel bad for him. As a lizard, he hates hates humanity, but as a human, he still has a good heart and wants to do good. He's helped Spider-Man on numerous occasions, one prominent one being developing a cure for Aunt May's poisoning. Such a monstrous creature still has a heart, so you have no excuse to be an asshole. Next up in number 5 we have Black Adam. Most people know this guy is a huge jerk of the DC world, but there's reasons behind it. He was corrupted by his powerful abilities and decided they qualified him to rule the world. So he usurps the Egyptian throne, but is then banished. Sucks to be him, but that's what happens when you overstep your Bounds. However, he met his wife Isis in the New 52 and she brought out the kind heart in him. He started a family, he became a benevolent and caring leader, then everything he loves is ripped away from him again and it's back to villainy. All he wanted was to protect and love his people. Up next in number 4 is Harley Quinn. She was an accessory to the Joker's villainy, but Harley herself was never acting out of the need to hurt people or take over the world or any of those cliches. She was driven by love and the need to help someone. Maybe obsessive love, but love nonetheless. Ever since releasing the Joker from Arkham Asylum, her motives have all been based in keeping their relationship strong, at least in her eyes, and to think she was even a psychologist in the first place to understand and help her fractured family. It all comes down to the unrequited emotions this girl has for crappy people. In the number 3 spot is Harry Osborn. Harry Osborn was one of Spider-Man's closest friends and it's really quite tragic what happened between them. As the son of the Green Goblin that Spidey is kind of responsible for killing, Harry followed in his dad's footsteps and it was basically all downhill from there. But friendship is strong and Harry occasionally shows sympathy for his rival, especially when he ends up sacrificing himself for Peter in the end. My tears have yet to dry, do not judge me. Coming in at number 2 we got Magneto. Magneto was a survivor of the holocaust where he lost so much and gained a new anger and hatred towards the human race. He lives in fear of what should happen should humans ever try to persecute mutants and hence he is at odds against Charles Xavier and his petition for peaceful coexistence. The solution to Magneto? wipe out the human race, which seems pretty evil to us, but he's only looking out for his species and wanting what's best for them. And I mean, I won't lie, humans can be pretty terrible. And finally, in the number one spot we have Bizarro. This poor guy's life is so backwards that he believes he is the hero and he believes he is doing good. As the polar opposite to Superman, he smashes and crashes and doesn't understand what he's doing causes harm. He just wants to be loved and accepted and find a place to fit in with society. But his backwards thinking and quite frankly his stupidity don't 
don't really seem to allow for that. It's kind of hard when everything you try to save dies. So those were the top 10 sympathetic supervillains. Let me know in the comment section down below who you think is the kindest supervillain. My name is Rory Destroya, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.